goal is to making money. So as, I, as I told, the, nowadays most business organization is called profit making organization. Money for not the present situation for future also. So as you know, the theory of constant adopt to the common idealism. Uh, a chain is no longer strong, it's a case link as a new ma management paradigm. This means the process organizations uh, are vulnerable because the weakest person or part can be damaged or break them. At least adversely affect the outcomes. So that is why if you implement the theory of constant process, you are directly identifying different type of, type of constant. Whether it should be financial constant, whether it should be maintenance level constant, whether it should be production level, whether it should be the behavioral aspect of people who are directly involved in case of process. So due to that weakest percent, it directly affects the manufacturing activity. That is why you have to identify the constant, then uh, make or you can say that is uh, uh, fix that particular constant and uh, smooth run of your manufacturing activity. That is the uh, basic uh, uh, concept behind theory of constant. Then moving to the next one. So that is why most of the company are implementing this process. Uh, and these are known as five-step process or of uh, ongoing improvement. So whenever you implement this theory of constant process, you have to first identify the constant, then exploit, then subordinate, then elevate, then refit for the other constant, if any. So this process is directly indicate an ongoing improvement. So whenever a, uh, a problem is fixed, then uh, it may be another problem will be arise in case of your manufacturing environment. So due to implement of this theory of constant process, in case of five step process for ongoing improvement, first you have to identify, repeat, identify, exploit, subordinate, elevate, and defeat if any other constant. Then moving to the next one, I'll just quickly go on through because we have already discussed this particular part. So apart from the theory of constant performance measurement, there are two aspects. So one is financial or another is operational measures. So in case of financial, you have to consider the net profit, cash flow, then the return on investment. But in case of uh, operational, that is throughput, then inventory, then operational expenses. In case of wages, then in case of manufacturing, in case of maintenance, in case of inventories, etc. So before implementing this operational process, you have to care, uh, take care about the different measure. First one is net profit, that is absolute measurement. Then the return on investment, that is a relative measurement based upon investment. The next one is case flow that is for survival measurement and apart for this financial performance measurement another aspect is that is knowledge operational so in case of operational you have to carry uh, take care about throughput that is uh, making more money or making profit that is known as throughput then next about reduce the inventory level reduce the operational expenses so here the formula so in case of net profit that is throughput minus operating expenses then return on investment that is net profit divided by investment and apart from operational uh, performance measure, that is productivity, that is known as your throughput divided by operating expenses. And the last one is investment on, that is known as throughput divided by investment. So these are the formula which is implemented for measure the different uh, performance of theory of constant. Then today's topic is your constant in manufacturing. So in case of manufacturing, as you know that the conversion of raw material into finishing product. In case of conversion of process, there are more amount of constant is there. That is why the theory of uh, constant philosophy is vastly or uh, widely used in case of manufacturing environment. So in, in manufacturing, the theory of constant uses constant management to ensure continuous improvement through the synchronized method. So here, what will happen? For example, in case of uh, automotive assemble centers, in that autom automotive assemble center, all departments of department are synchronized. Synchronize, uh, you can say the step wise or process wise. In this regard, it is easy to identify different level of constraint. For example, in that case, uh, you are uh, you are employed on skill level. So due to on skill level involvement in that particular workstations, it directly delay the whole process. So this kind of behavioral, uh, uh, you can say it is the uh, employee's behavior. Uh, especially in case of on skills that is the most of the company are directly involved highly skilled people to improve or or increase the efficiency of their productivities the next part is that whenever you synchronize the different level and some departments uh, different department and sub department it is easy to flow the raw material to, or it is easy to convert the raw material into finishing product without any constraint 
and it is happened due to the uh, efficient use of uh, theory of constant method so here is the uh, synchro synchronized manufacturing concept first the starting point in that starting point you have to identify business issue and problem and goals in case of business issue more for example in case of uh, packaging for example in case of lack of qualities uh, for example in case of lack of sales and for example in case of lack of storage facilities and uh, the most common objective of business is that is making more points then first whenever you implement the synchronized manufacturing in the form of theory of constant you have to identify business issues problem and goals the next is industry comparison and competitive analysis in this regard you have to you have to search the uh, potential competitors and, uh, and and go for competitive analysis by implementing some managerial tools for example in case of uh, delphi method for example in case of uh, you can say that is uh, uh, cause and effect or, or swot analysis the next is constant analysis if the constant is uh, easy to fix then directly go for the analysis of this particular constant for example you are facing more amount of maintenance problem so before implementing the maintenance problem you go for the constant analysis what kind of parts components are required for that particular element the next is uh, after constant analysis you move towards the synchronization of operations if it is fixed then you directly synchronize with your other department or sub department or other work centers then improve constant resource utilization so in case of resource utilization you have to involve highly skilled people high uh, high technology or recent advances in case of technology machine and tools and lastly buffer management to remove distortion and synchronized buffer so you know the buffer uh, is nothing but making a particular queue in the uh, process of manufacturing you have to eliminate the uh, buffer now uh, in it is happen in uh, most of the automotive assembly center where the, the same component parts would be assembled in in a different line or in the same line so due to that buffer management or you can say is the implementation of best buffer management uh, some company are di diversify their manufacturing to different work centers inside the manufacturing environment so by implementing this identify then industry comparison then constant analysis synchronized operation improve constant resource uh, utilization and next one is buffer management due to this uh, continuous or ongoing process it directly lead towards uh, maximize the productivity increase the efficiency of uh, produ uh, productive uh, productions and this is the most important factor or we can say it is the most important aspect of manufacturing where they adopt the theory of constant philosophies then move into the next one so in case of constant in manufacturing system there are uh, five basic levels uh, or there are five basic steps is uh, involved as i told in the first one is identify the constant resources then establish key buffer location to protect throughput then schedule the constant resources release material at gateway operation to maximize production at the constant resources and the last one is huge forward scheduling for work center that flow the constant resources to ensure high level due to performance so this approach which link all manufacturing resources to the constant resources which is known as drum buffer rope synchronize i will explain that one i just repeat this step identify the constant establish key buffer location if you find a key buffer locations you can easily divert this buffer to another machines the next is schedule the constant resources what kind of resources in case of constant resources you have to uh, uh, allocate the other resources to to convert them into non constant resources then release material to gateway of operation to maximize production so after the, uh, this uh, schedule resources the raw material should be directly go to the go to the production in which you can be maximize your production and finally most of the company are using forward scheduling of work center that flow the constant resources to ensure high level of uh, high level of due date performance so this approach is known as drum buffer rope synchronization i will explain that drum buffer rope synchronization here in this figures as you know this uh, figure directly show the different uh, different um, different work centers starting from that is known as non bottleneck work centers and uh, in case of x it is known as bottleneck resources 
in that water like resources if you find any kind of constant the whole team of operation directly directly go to that particular area and analyze the or, or analysis of that particular constant that is known as uh, a particular bit of production should be paced uh, according to that pace the non bottleneck resources in the form of raw material they directly flow by the help of forward scheduling to the finishing good shipment so this uh, flow management uh, start like drum buffer rope so here the drum for the buffer uh, buffer which is occur in the form of x and the roof from the raw material where more amount of buffer will happen in case of rope that is control release to the production in case of buffer that is the protect bottleneck and cells and uh, the rope which brings the raw material to that buffer area and it should be easily diverting diversify so as far as concern with the synchronize to the drum support net if you go to the definition of uh, drum buffer synchronizations after the drum has been scheduled the material release and shipping are connected to it using buffer offset so whenever you find any kind of difficulty in case of your machine in the form of constant the whole operation team is directly involved in that particular machine that means due to that involvement of operation team by providing adequate maintenance level to that particular workstations and uh, due to that uh, you can say due to that uh, 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 due to that maintenance level or maintenance work provided to that workstation it is easy to flow the raw material from one point to other point it is the duty of operation management they are always search for constant who make a barrier or prevent the operational activity in case of manufacturing environment with respect to theory of constant the next is material is released at the same rate that the drum can consume it order are shipped at the rate of drum productions so in case of drum buffer roof the middle level of management play you can say that it the play the role of drum if they uh, assign uh, the team to that particular constant area it is the duty of the team to resolve the problem and fix the problem for the smooth flow of raw material in this regard there is no delay in case of production or productivity so this is the concept of drum buffer synchronize the next is uh, plant i been theory of constant till that any doubt from your side anyone No, okay. Just a minute. In case of plant type in theory of constant, uh, they specify the general flow of material through a system, and they provide some hints about where to look for the typical problem. So these four type, there are four type of combined uh, plant in case of theory of constant. The first one is I plant, A plant, B plant, and T plant. We will discuss one by one. in case of uh, your i plant and t plant so this figure shows the flow uh, flow of raw material from the starting point to different point apart from the t or i plant in case of i plant the material flow in a sequence such as in a assembly line the primary work is done straight sequence of event that is one to one the constant is slowest operation there is no particular constant the constant may be slow but in case of t plant the general flow is of i plant or has to multiple lines when they split into many assembly line that is many, many to many the most manufacturing parts are used multiple assembly nearly all assembly use multiple parts so it is directly uh, go for uh, you can say that the best example is given that is uh, customized devices such as computers are good example for t plant similarly in case of i plant that is directly assigned to any kind of manufacturing assembly who use the sequence of event uh, in the in the form of one to one minutes then moving to the next one the next one is a plant or v plant so in case of general flow of uh, sorry in case of a plant that is the general flow of material in many to one and such as in a plant where many assembly cover the final assembly so if you see in case of v plant only one uh, process is connected to um, 
two, then uh, next is connected to three, and next is connected to four, then next is connected to five. So similarly, that is one one assembly center is connected to many assembly center. The primary problem is A plant is synchronize the covering line so that each supply or final assembly point at the right time. So that is why. For example, in case of cement industry, the raw materials the, are directly go to different uh, different flow line, and finally it's reach up to the right time in the quality center. You can say the packaging centers. The next one is in case of V plant, the general flow of material it is one to one, one to many. So this plant that takes one raw material can make many final product. The best example you can take uh, in case of plastic industries. The classic, uh, or you can say it is the steel industry also. The classic example are meat rendering plants or you know, or a steel manufacturing. So these are the different uh, type of plant here are used in case of theory of constant. Then moving to the next and uh, most important constant that is drum buffer roof. As I told, in case of drum buffer synchronize, the drum are uh, drum are uh, beaten or paced in case of uh, if you find any kind of constant. And buffer and roof are, are just to diversify and just to cool the system to make the flow of raw material smoothly conducted from one point to another point. So before studying this drum buffer roof methodology, you have to understand the uh, concept behind buffer. The buffer are used throughout the theory of constant. The buffer are placed before governing constant and thus ensuring that the constant is never stuck. The next point is the buffer are also placed behind the constant to prevent and downstream the failure to block the constant output. The buffer can be a bank of physical object before a work center and waiting process by the work centers. So if you see in case of uh, mega factory, especially in case of discovery channel or in case of net geo, they are using different kind of buffer for packaging, for shifting of raw materials and these buffer are just placed before the governing constant. And it is also placed behind the constant to prevent the downstream failure of uh, your constant outputs. Clear? So here are the uh, situations. For example, this is a typical example of storage uh, buffer, the storage buffer between two stages of production lines. So here, um, one stage is, uh, the buffer is placed before one stage and uh, or you can say it is the buffer is placed after the one stage. In this regard, starting point is that is the red ball indicate different processes that is one, two, three, four. And the storage buffer is indicate the in, inside the storage buffer, this particular raw material is move, slowly moving towards the stage two. Similarly, if you maintain this particular buffer in a systematic manner, there is no constant will be occurred which directly prevent the manufacturing activities. In case of mega factories, have you seen in case of uh, food production or in case of uh, automatic component production, most of the parts should be rotated to different areas and finally reach up to the assembly center. So due to this number of rotations or number, number of queues in a systematic manner, there should not be any kind of delay, which is concerned in case of manufacturing. So due, to, due to that buffer, it is easy to easy to uh, flow the uh, flow of raw metal from one end to other end without any constant. The next part is that that is the most important thing that is known as buffer management. The buffer management therefore represents the crucial attributes to crucial attributes of theory of constant. So there are many ways to do it, but the most often used is known as visual system of designing in the buffer. So there are maybe three colors should be followed. The green color for OK, then yellow for color for cousins, and the red color for taking action or action required. So here you can see that if you find any constraint, a drum should be paced, and that drum should be bring towards the buffer or buffer storage. This buffer storage directly indicate different color signal. For green, that is action required. For yellow, that is cousins, and green for OK. So after getting the green signal by the help of pool system, or it is known as rope, you can be you can directly pull the raw material from the constant area to your smoothly running areas. 
that is the concept behind drum buffer rope area so here uh, uh, in case of creating this kind of visibility enable the system as whole to align and thus the subordinate is need to of the constant as a holistic manner this can also be done easily in case of central operation room and accessible to everybody that is why it is known as synchronized method but nowadays due to involvement of huge amount of information technology all machines all equipments all tools should be synchronized with computer and it is easy to visualize or visual the particular system with the indicator of colors you, you can easily eliminate the percentage of constant from the manufacturing activities the next part is that so in case of drum buffer methodology the drum buffer roof is planning and scheduling solution drive from the theory of constant and the fundamental objection of drum buffer roof is that within any plant there is one or or a limited number of scary resources which control and the overall output of the plant by the help of synchronized manufacturing or synchronizing to the resource create the drum beat or the pace of production the plan for this resources is called drum and other resources that is known as non constant then match their pace to the their resources so here the typical example so in case of uh, this drum buffer row methodology as i told if you find any constant suppose in the uh, figure below so this indicate the material flow uh, starting from uh, four number of workstation and workstation number 4 face a certain amount of constant so by the help of production uh, pace in the form of drum the whole raw material should be pulled by the help of pull system in the form of row and they they are directly cope with the sequence of operation in case of manufacturing environment in the above figure as i just i just repeat this particular figure if you find any constant the middle level management pays the production drum and this uh, raw material should be directly go to the um, storage buffer the storage buffer indicate different color signal so whenever the buff storage buffer is okay by the help of roof in the form of pool system the is uh, constant resources are convert in, are match with or pace with non constant resources to smooth flow of production activities the next is moving to the next one so the plan for production is centered on these resources during execution the management and soft flow behavior are focused on exploiting it maximizing its production and protecting against disruption throughout the use of time buffer so that is why Uh, in case of storage buffer they maintain a systematic time or sequence of activities which include uh, which use the time buffer to maintain the flow of raw material from one end to other end by the help of drum buffer roof this is this behavior synchronize and subordinate all the other resources the decision to the activities of drum through a mechanism that a acne to a roof moving to the next one the by the help of you can say it is the drum buffer roof concern itself with creating realistic plan schedule that makes best use of capacity to maximize profit profitability uh, which is in the form of throughput or reduce inventory and reduce op op operating expenses the next is creating the behavior to effectively execute the plan so basically most of the manufacturing organization are um, adopt this uh, drum buffer roof concept uh, regarding project management regarding uh, maintenance management regarding uh, process or you can say to optimize the different processes also the next is providing feedback to identify opportunity or uh, to improve the system performance over the times it also provides some feedback regarding uh, whether should be positive or negative feedback after getting this feedback you must identify the different opportunity uh, and improve the system performance over the times the next part is that the first one is simplified drum buffer rope concept so in case of simplified drum buffer rope is very much similar to your drum buffer rope but the thing is that 
if you uh, the key uh, point or key thing is is indicate in case of simplified drum buffer op is is simplifying the approach is the adoption that market or customer is the largest bottlenecks that is in case of average your system always enough capacity to satisfy demand the rope then the span entire length of the systems so here in, if you find uh, for example in this particular uh, manufacturing or in case of uh, productivity organization or environment it contain five number of machines so if you find any kind of constant in case of one or station 2 3 4 5 the rope directly communicate or directly contact with the first work station where they are in, initiated the raw material for conversion into finishing wood so due to that um, uh conjunction occur in case of last workshop you can be directly send that buffer to work station number 1 in this regard you can simplify the approach and uh, you can uh, you can you can enough capacity to satisfy the demand which occur or which placed by the customers so here the rope then span the entire length of the system so here if you find any kind of constant the roof or the pool system is connected to every or uh, you can you can say they directly uh, um, uh, communicate with the fast work station where they can directly pull the raw metal which convert into the finishing product and here customer or drum should be paced through the demand informations the next part is that then the benefits of uh, simplified drum buffer roof simple uh, simpler to implement having just one buffer make priority list clear to all times maintaining much more flexibility to meet the changing requirement of client the fourth one signal clearly that major constraint in the market demand thus even the capacity resource constraint so should subordinate to it so these are the basic benefit the next one is drum buffer roof menu uh, roof for manufacturing so in case of drum buffer roof still the, the bottleneck so as you know the bottleneck every process should be passed through the bottleneck where they can easily convert uh, more amount or uh, convert the bottleneck into more sellable goods in the form of throughput the buffer the material of stream of the bottleneck and has to make sure the drum is never stuck the rope is a signal for information from the buffer to the beginning of the line if the drum uh, process part the buffer moves forward the rope is signal when the market is taken and gives an emotional replenish another part to begin for the line as one in the sense so here if you find any kind of difficulty the rope signal directly or the information from the buffer to the beginning lines in this regard it is easy or simpler to implement this particular drum buffer of in case of manufacturing and without only only one buffer will occur and it should be easily rectified or fixed or resolved so if the drum pro pro uh, processes part and buffer moves forward the rope signal when the material is taken out and gives an information to the other part at the beginning of the lines so uh, in this particular figure then the next one So in this regard, uh, nowadays the drum buffer is very much similar to your kanban with the supermarket before the bottleneck. So here, as you know, the kanban is implement uh, uh, or it, it is act as a rope to to the beginning to the kanban loop for replacement or removing the material from the starting point. As the drum buffer rope system shown above is very much similar to a kanban loop as shown in the below figures. So here, what will happen if you take the first two work stations? if you find any kind of uh, buffer in the form of uh, supermarket that should be directly uh, communicate or directly inform to the fast work stations and it is help it is it is due to the kanban system which the kanban is act as a rope then the uh, next one the application area that is the production management then throughput analysis then theory of constraint logistic process and in case of uh, this application area the theory of constraint was initially an applied uh, here to solve the problem of bottleneck scheduling and inventory reductions and the application of theory of constraint a shift from the cost based decision making to decision making based on the continuous improvement in which the system throughput and the system constant and statistical determine productive capability at a critical point 
and the last one is the theory of constitutional logic applied to identify what factors are limiting an organization for achieving its goal that is known as in the form of profit and developing a solution to the problem and getting the individual in the process and invent the requisite changes from themselves the last slide these are the potential benefit theory of constant does not away with the much of cost accounting it is very much similar to the cost accounting as far as concerned with the financial expenses as far as concerned with the operational expenses it is clearly clear that the application of cost accounting principle lead to poor management decisions at the department as well as the upper level of organizations in fact the theory of constant virtually eliminate the use of economic order quantities production lot side deriving production cost setting price and uh, determining the productivity measures and the use of performance incentives the next was the use of theory constant in the improvement of uh, production scheduling or in improving manufacturing that is why the software name is you know, called optimization of production technologies the next last one is the theory of constant is truly applicable to any process in organization this include universities hospital service provider of all varieties government and also or of course in case of manufacturing organizations so this was uh, that's all from my side any doubts hello no sir are you getting uh, your campus and doubts lekha left yes sir okay any doubt